Hello everyone. In this video, we have this interesting problem. We have x to the second power plus y to the second power is equal to 2003. And we have to find the integer solutions to this problem. But before we begin, as always, pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. First, let's consider the right hand side of the equation. We have 2003, which is an odd number. Now, one important thing you should note is that if you have even number plus another even number, you'll be getting even number. And again, if you have odd number plus another odd number, you'll still be getting even. And lastly, if you have even number plus odd number, you'll be getting odd. So straight away, you can see that the third equation can hold for our problem. So let's let x be the even number and then y be the odd number. So we have x is equal to 2n, which is the even number. Then y be equal to 2m plus 1, which is the odd number. Now let's go ahead and then plug these values into the original equation so that we get 2n all to the power 2 plus 2m plus 1 all to the power 2 and this is equal to 2003. Awesome. Now expanding this 2n all to the power 2, we have 4n to the power 2 plus, if you expand this, we have 4m to the power 2 plus 4m plus 1 and this is equal to 2003. Right. Now let's go ahead and then move this positive one to the right hand side of the equation so that we get 4n to the second power plus 4m to the second power plus 4m is equal to 2002. Now from here you can see that we have 4 here, 4 here and 4 here. So let's take it out. So we have 4 into n to the second power plus m to the second power plus m is equal to 2002. Now, if you look at this equation very well, you can see that 4 cannot divide 2002 straight away. So what I'm going to do is to divide each side of the equation by 2. Now, 2 goes into 2 one time and then goes into 4 two times. So we have 2 into n to the second power plus m to the second power plus m is equal to 2002 divided by 2, that is 1001. Now this whole thing you're seeing here is an even number. And then the right hand side is an odd number. And there's no way even number will be equal to odd. So you conclude that this problem you are seeing here has no integer solution. So this is pretty much it. I hope you found this video useful. Please let me know what you think in the comment section and then feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you again on the next video.